Blue. I'd seen Jersey Boys. It's in the movie. I saw the Australian production and I knew I was really right for the show. It always felt like something that I wanted to be a part of. I was still in Australia and I had to come back for it. And to get to do it here in Auckland, in the Civic of all places, yeah, is very special. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. Exciting. So exciting. <laughs> I haven't actually stepped foot on the stage in about 12 years, so this is pretty phenomenal. I was 13, <laughs> my first time yeah. here. And it's just as magical, if not more. So take it in. <laughs> well, every show has a bit of a process that probably people don't realise. It starts, you know, at least a year in advance of even the rehearsals commencing. Yes, it's 50s, 60s, 70s, but the young people now actually know the music and it's been remade several times. So they'll come along to the show and they'd go, yeah, heard that, heard that. Particularly with Jersey Boys, I'm continually wowed with both the technical and the onstage talent we have, and I just want to showcase that to as many people as possible. So I kick off the show. My character's got like a pretty big ego, being like, hey, it's me, welcome. Let me tell you our story, because this whole thing started with me. Lots of power poses. Frankie Valley, you know, he's a living legend whom I have the honor of filling the shoes and what these guys needed to endure and overcome to actually make this music happen to make this music possible. I grew up knowing the music. In my year 12, we took a school drama trip to the UK and I was lucky enough to see the original West End cast and I kind of like fell in love with the show at that point. It's crazy to be in it now. It's such a full circle for me. For me, there's something really special about Jersey Boys where it's just so joyous. The music, the dancing, the aesthetic. My first week in the room, hearing everyone sing together. Mm -hmm. I just like, had a moment where I looked around and I was like, this is really, really nice. <laughs> always ask my crew to just take a moment when we get to stand on that stage together as a group and reflect on about how lucky we are to be here, to be in this venue which is magnificent. We are very lucky in New Zealand to be in this position to be presenting theatre at this stage and I think New Zealand audiences need entertainment right now. Some light at the end of the tunnel and to present New Zealand talent on stage wowing New Zealand audiences. Absolutely brilliant. These guys had nothing. The chances of them making a living from it were so slim, especially where they came from. And to get to see that come to life on stage is inspiring for anyone. Anyone in the theatre could think, you know what? If they can make that happen, and that's a true story, then I can do anything. <laughs>